Same stellar. Uh, we've been restructuring since last year, and uh, actually what happened, uh, mo most of us were part of other teams before. And we realized uh, one very important thing, um, as I say in the joke, you have guys who can calculate the orbit from the Earth to the Moon and things like that. How many degrees uh, can a gyroscope be laid after three days of travel? But it takes half an hour to buy a ticket for the metro, you know. So <laughs> you cannot let these people leave the team, actually. Uh, management is a science. No, but really, I'm, I'm honest. Uh, management is a science, and you go to school for that. And there are also other skills that you cannot learn in school, but you must have additional experience about it. Uh, personally, I'm an uh, aeronautics engineer, and I have uh, about 10 years' experience in airline management. Basically, whatever you can think of in our airlines, I, I did it. Uh, and uh, I'm an airline captain as well, since uh, age 97. So, um, the, the first po uh, problem was uh, the teams that we were in were looking for money, but they don't know how much money they need. So th this is not good news for any investor unless they are crazy or they're your mother. <laughs> so, <laughs> or both. That's the best one. Uh, so uh, we even got some sponsorships and we were not able to spend the money. Can you believe that? And this uh, upset some of us. And we decided to have our own team, but it was too late to start uh, to join the competition. So we decided to find a team that was uh, about to expire. And uh, we took over and we did the restructuring. So we started first uh, from the first uh, management mistake that, that uh, many people make. Uh, they have people on board and they give each other titles and then they share the tasks, which is actually the wrong way to do it. But first, you must see what are the tasks. <coughs> then, according to the tasks, see what are the positions and put the people to those positions. And then you will see that some people are missing, that some people are extra. But that's the only way how to do that. Uh, two, two people are not doing the same thing. How to do that certain things are not being done by anyone and things like that. For example, we had a problem uh, in the GLXP. There was a presentation um, about the websites, how to do the websites better. But uh, that's just curing the symptoms, not the disease. If you, if you just fix the website, you didn't do anything. The, the problem, the root cause of a bad website is the lack of management. Because if you had a management according to the processes, you would realize that one of the processes is marketing. So you would have a marketing manager, and the first thing he would think about is the website. So somebody would get a deadline, a budget, and somebody would check that this was a done according to the deadline and budget. So basically, if you fix the management, the website will fix by itself. But if you just fix the website and you don't fix the management, another website will turn out tomorrow and day after tomorrow and, and so on and so on. And also this is very important for the investors. I mean, when you're looking for money, you must first know what you're looking for, but you must be able to prove that you're able to do it. And to have good engineers, that only goes so far. You must prove that you're able to manage to do it. So for example, that the rover will fit the lander things like that. If you don't make the rover, that's too heavy for the rocket. If you don't make the rover, that's too expensive to pay for and things like that. So, this is basically it. Uh, this presentation is mixed from our investor presentations and things like that, so I'll just go quickly through them. So we, met, we became an international team of experts with an extensive aerospace background. How did we do that? Separate people, Okay, one, one guy worked on Apollo, the other one on Mars Curiosity, the other one on Spaceship One, and so on and so on. Separately, they have some value, of course. But when they all, all join together, now we are a team who is capable of doing the entire mission. Because if you ask communications, you did communications for the Apollo. You want the rover? Our guys did major work on Mars Curiosity rovers, already on Mars. You want uh, rocket engines, you want lander, whatever, we have the guys on board who joined the team, and we didn't pay anything for that because the team now has benefit because suddenly we have a value that we can show to the investors. But each, each team member has a value because now they're working on a space project, which they couldn't work before by themselves. So this was the logic behind us. Yeah. So uh, each of the experts uh, joined us with his own company most, most of the time. So we joined a um, cluster of company, companies, and these companies 
Some of them are mentioned, mentioned here, cable, space, ISO engineering, plus quantum systems, space image network. Um, each one of them has already done a lot of research and development because this is what they do. So basically, if you look at the budget for uh, Google Lunar Mission, there is a lot of money for uh, research and development. We got it all for free. Of course, each of these teams got something in return. They are part of the space mission and their companies will be well known if we do it and they could be partners in much greater projects. Of course, we in the budget still have money, a lot of money for research and development and things like that. But certain things you can do actually without a lot of money if you, if you make a good team. <coughs> Uh, yeah, our budget is $32 million for the Google Lunar X Prize. And we went all over the world looking for investors. The first thing they told us is, it's not enough money. Yeah. We thought to make even smaller uh, budget, but they said, no, we're not interested. This is like peanuts. We want a big project which, which doesn't end at Google Lunar X Prize. So what happens? You land a rover on the moon, <coughs> send the pictures, and we shake hands and say, oh, it's been lovely. See you, bye. No, because it would be stupid. We worked all this time to create something that's much more valuable than the Google X prize money. We don't actually care about the prize money after we won. We care more about money before, which enables us to win. Because after we land on the moon and send the pictures and videos back to the Earth, our company is worth more than, than, uh, than, than this $32 million. So, how to start fundraising? Uh, we had the goal. So Basically, you can find money in many different strategies, right?